Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. We've got some more news for you on the Yalu jailbreak scene today, so I thought I would share this with you. There have been some added support for some additional phones for the Yalu jailbreak, and that is for the 6S and the 6S Plus, and the SE have been added, and you have also gained support for two the uh, TSMC. Now, if you don't understand what that is, which I didn't either, TSMC is, is actually which type of processor is in your phone, whether you have Samsung uh, processor or a different processor made by a different company. And there is a way to tell this, but now it seems this has been fixed and it, this doesn't matter anymore. So the uh, actual people that have already been jailbroken in the past on this previous beta that's already been released should go back and, and uh, uh, Luca recommends to go back and use Sticktron's uh, fix for this. So I'll post some links in the description and you need to check those out so you can get the right uh, website to go to to be sure and get your phone up to date. But also the new beta that was released, which we have a new one now, that's what, I, what all this is about. All this new uh, support has brought a new beta, which is beta 3. And it brings us, like I said, the TSMC plus the iPhone 6, 6S Plus, and SE support. And there's a lot of the other things going on, guys. Uh, Luca also recommends to not install OpenSSH. Now, what that is, is a tweak you can download in Cydia that will help you if you have a bad tweak be able to connect your device up with a computer and go in and remove that tweak through the through the computer connection or through iFile. Now he says that his new jailbreak Yalu already has this baked in it. We don't need OpenSSH anymore. So keep that in mind because he says with the with the beta that was released previously there was wasn't any harm. But there could be harm on the public jailbreak if you have that installed. So if you have that installed, go ahead and remove it. You don't want to have any conflict in there if we get a new public jailbreak sometime soon. And I think it's going to be a lot sooner than we may think because there's a lot of things he's been posting on Twitter. And I'll put some of it on the screen here so you can see as we go along. And the, one of the things I want to confirm with you here, it says, since people seem to not know yet, there is a fix for TSMC and it's been, been posted for both the SE and the 6S. So support should now be complete for those devices and that comes from his Twitter account. Also on his Twitter account you see there's new releases for you. Yalu will happen but I am more interested in future restore since it would actually give me devices to test it on. So he's needing to be able to restore in order to test other devices so he's still in the developmental stages as you can see. Also he says in, on his Twitter that there will be no 10.2 unless extraordinary things happen. And, you know, he's saying that that could be, but not, not don't count on it. <clears throat> he says there's a pretty serious bug in the Yalu betas that he's trying to fix before he adds more support. So keep in mind, he's trying to work, guys. Also, just to, just to, to reiterate this again, do not install S open SSH. It could be harmful in beta 3 but it will break SSH on it will break your SSH on the final release he says it's not harmful right now but it could break the jailbreak in the final release so keep that in mind hope these tips was helpful guys please subscribe to the channel and keep coming back